here or your peer mentor is not here kindly just you know send them a dm send them a shout out just a little reminder for them to join us this blessed morning thank you michael take care good morning as well so um we're going to start right off um this morning um no announcements from our end, just the usual that you're going to have your progress um, project update and um, the all week four channel is open for you guys to ask any question, you know, or even if it's an insight that you've discovered, feel free to also share it there. And um, yes, so we're going to start this morning. So with our technical assignment, I would really love to know how far we've gone working together as um, as a team, how far we've gone. Do we have any major blockers right now? Did we encounter any challenge? Have we been able to surpass the challenge? Anything that you would want to share? Okay, so who would love to go first? Okay, Zalalem, good morning. Just unmute yourself and yeah. Okay, good morning, everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, so uh, overall it was good, but uh, some of the challenge that I face is that first, uh, when we work on notebooks, on Jupyter notebooks, and uh, we try to upload them using a pull request, Comparing them is very difficult as uh, compared to other, let us say, uh, Python scripts, because it shows us uh, as an XML. So we couldn't identify the real content, the exact content that we see when opening it on Colab or on our local machine. So I, that's, I think, one problem, how to compare our versions because we couldn't uh, figure it out. Uh, if you see, for example, our uh, GitHub repo, there are, for example, for posting, there are three or more uh, notebooks that we each uploaded. So is there a way or have anyone figured out a way to compare uh, Jupyter notebooks on GitHub? And the second thing is that uh, we wanted to make our some of our codes, our functions, uh, more reusable, and we tried to extract them into scripts. It works fine uh, when uh, we are working on our local machines, but when we try to use GitHub, we can only open the notebooks. We can't access the rest of our scripts from our repo. So is there any other way that we can use, we can import our custom uh, scripts or functions defined outside to our node. Hello, Hi. I think you Hi, dropped there. No, the Alan, you finished your question, right? I think he has some internet problem because I think the line has stopped. I don't know. Hi, yeah, Babel. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, I think you can go ahead with answering. Um, since this has been recorded, you'll have the opportunity to watch the. No, but uh, I mean, because the answer is a bit more complex, so let's just. Um, I mean, just the usual answer would be, of course, it's very like I didn't understand. That's why I would ask him. So let let let's. Uh yeah, like we are in the same team. Okay. Like, to make more clear, like we use Colab for our notebooks to, uh, to display different kinds of things uh, to work on our notebooks. But we try to extract functionalities like uh, uh, functions on script uh, in our script folder, and we want to use them on our yeah. uh, notebooks. Notebook. But yeah, we are using Colab, and how we are going to access those scripts and use them. Is a difficult thing for us. For but, okay, so I'm I probably haven't done and tested it, but is it is it not that Colab just imports the entire folder? Git? 
you give it. Or an, another way would be like that you actually clone it into your Jupyter Drive, like the Google Drive, and then basically then from there, with, okay, maybe the path is different. So it's usually through paths that I would, I would solve those kind of things. I would just set a path to the directory as system paths. I will add it in the system paths. And then that way you will take care. So if it's already in your Google Drive, for example, you know where the paths of the folder is. And if you make that one, if you add that one in the syspaths, sys.paths append, like that one, then it, it will be available for you in Colab to use it. Yeah, like the, the scripts are on uh, GitHub, like we, we are yeah. collaborating on uh, like different scripts and generating the scripts. And yeah. you want to use, like the notebooks are in different, when you open in Colab, the notebooks are open in different, uh, on the drive, yeah? Not yeah, but that's what I'm suggesting. Maybe the best is probably to clone it and just basically clone it in your local machine, upload it to your Google Drive, and then um, open it from Google Drive. So that way, then you will have you can set the path. So you see what I mean? It's like so. Normally, what I do, like, is that I have a Google Drive uh, local in the local machine. You have like this the synchronization with Google Drive, and and therefore, if you git clone in that folder. In your Google, so it automatically synchronizes to your uh, cloud Google Drive, and then when you open in work, it will be just always the same. Do you get what I mean? Predator uh, Zanalem. I think I get it a little bit. Yeah. So it's it, most of these kind of things are solved usually by adding a pass. Now the problem is that if you're just only opening one one file in Colab, you may not be able to to know where the pass is, like the the script, for example, in this case. So if you just clone it and synchronize between your computer and Google Drive in one way or another, or by just uploading it there and the Google Drive, then you will be able to have the Google Drive pass in your, basically, in your notebook, and therefore it will work. But the good thing is also, um, like, now we have set up the clusters, so I think maybe even um, Kevin, if he's here, he would announce. So each of your group, just if you add me and uh, Kevin in your in your group, then we will send you the IP address that you'll, you'll connect. And there you'll basically, don't need anything, just that, um, yeah, you will work entirely there. Just you will have the, sh um, the shell and the data also in S3 folder and everything's gonna be like in one and then you will have one GPU. But because it's just a bit costly, we might ask you, we, we, we might start and stop it, like start, uh, so the cluster will work until a time that's predefined by you, like saying like, you know, I want my, I will not work between these times, like as a team. Let's say it would be like from midnight to um, six o'clock UTC, probably I'm okay that we're not going to work on it. Then in that case, we'll, we'll stop it be between that time and then we'll automatically start it um, after that. But it will be, you will be able to work on an integrated way, like where the computational power is much better. You will have at least as a team, you will have eight CPUs, 32 by, uh, by um, gigabyte, like gigabyte uh, RAM, and then one, I think, very powerful GPU. So if you already haven't added, just add us in, in your Rocket Chat, and then we will send you the um, uh, IP address where, to which you will connect soon. Like SSH, if you have sent us, if you gave us your SSH key, and then from then you will just be able to ha open your Jupyter notebook. Uh, we can we can go the demonstration probably after this. So that will simplify all your work. Uh, how about the comparing uh, Jupyter notebooks on GitHub? Yeah, that, that's that's the you know 
there are many apps uh, that one can connect, but they're most of them almost paid. That there is no easy way to get diff um, Jupyter notebooks. That's the, the main disadvantage. One way that I know I will send you is that you could automatically generate always like a, a parallel script. You know, you work on it, but when you are uh, pushing it to Git, it will automatically translate it into a script. So it's basically just uh, using, you know, uh, whatever to export it into Python file, and then you can compare those files. But there are, like the, the solutions I know to compare to diff uh, Jupyter Notebook is, is very, I mean, it's not, no free software I know. It's all paid apps. Okay. Okay. I was muted there earlier, so. It's okay. So I hope that it's addressed. If not, we can continue because, um, but just after this, maybe we can just take some time after the standup. Um, and those of you who was like, yeah, we'll just demonstrate how you're going to use it. And then you cluster. So to you, Yaten. Thank you so much, Yababa, for this. Um, if you need um, to meet with him later on, as he said, after the stand up, you guys can arrange for an in depth um, tutorial with him. So um, thank you so much, Zalalem and Bereket, for the questions. Um, who else has something they would love for us to hear about? Probably you have a blocker or probably, you know, you've gained an insight. If you're having some issues with group work or, you know, with anything, this is the perfect opportunity. Anyone else? Okay, so um, Zelalem, can you please choose someone else to go? Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, Mikhail, Mikhail Takli. Michael, you're up. Michael Takli. Are you uh, here? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Good morning, Yetin. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yesterday we were working uh, with the team. So, yeah, I am in a very good vibrant team. So, uh, we were working on like the visualization. We have already like divided tasks between each other and like uh, we worked on every task. Uh, we tried to push it to the give report and what we have done but like we have faced some problems on what zlm already mentioned on the notebook we're like working on the same notebook and we face some problems uh but now i think we're going to like create two different notebooks and after that we're going to like check each notebooks and merge it together if that's possible so yeah that's my update Okay, so have you had breakfast? Huh? What did you say? Have you had breakfast? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> did it include coffee? Uh, no, 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 no. I should have had my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So try to get your coffee. It's of a good coffee. reminder. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <Exactly. Good> reminder. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, try to get your cup of coffee. Thank you so much, Michael. Okay, okay, okay. Should yeah. I choose someone? Uh, actually, I'd like to choose the next person, if that's fine, by you. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, thank you. Okay, so, um, same. Are you able to join us? Same, Michael. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah. So, 
what should I say? I think I yeah. So basically, we just love to hear how's everything going on your end. You know, how are you working together with your group? Anything you'd love to share with us? Um, yeah, the dynamic of working with my team members hasn't been so great. Um, the work has been okay so far because the task hasn't been that complicated up to this stage, I think. It's mostly trying to understand the data and since resources are open, widely available, it wasn't too hard to do. Mm, other than that, I don't think I have much else to say. I've just been reading up on for the next task. That's it. And I've just been feeling slightly unwell, and that's making the slow the work slow a bit slower. But um, I'm going to head out and get that sorted out. Thank you. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear about this. Hope you feel better soon. Um, also, so try to I relax. Comment, can I comment? Because there's, there's an important element uh, in working in a team. And in particular, it's not to the people who are working, but, you know, if I think it's for everyone. If you are not contributing to your group, let them know. Let everyone know so that you know, they, they don't over, like, they kind of, there won't be frustration. I think that, that is really, um, in a team, it's very important. And, and I think it's, it's a very, it's a responsibility of everyone, not one single person, to take care of the group success. Of course, one can coordinate, one can help in doing that, but it is the responsibility of every team member to actually really contribute and ask. So, it might be that there are some differences in, in expectations and in, in kind of skill and experience. What I would really recommend is that if you feel like you're given a task and it's not clear to you, you have to let your team members that something is not clear or something is like, you know, not your level. But please use this opportunity because this really determines like basically everything in, in kind of delivering. And if, um, yeah, I think. I just want to really stress teamwork isn't easy and it's a responsibility of everyone yeah, in, the team in the team to make sure that they contributed or if they don't contribute because of some reasons or they you know they their goal is not aligned or their expectation the clarity they are not clear they have to announce it. it's your own responsibility to to let the other team know so really make sure that because otherwise it's, it's not a pleasant uh, to work in a team where people are not communicating or not letting others know clearly um, what's going on. So I just want to add that one. I just want to build on what Yevabel is saying. Um, so this is this is a little bit like the real world. Yevabel has often said that the real world, we're trying to simulate the real world, and we are trying to do that in many ways. Um, when you get to your first job, you will it's rare that you'll be doing something by yourself. Almost all work is done in teams. You'll have colleagues, and fortunately or unfortunately, sometimes you don't get along that well with your colleagues or people have different ways of working. So we are here to provide, in some ways, a curated environment where we can help. Um, you have Cindy, you have Yatiana, you have the tutors, you have Yavabel, you have me. You can ask questions, we can help out. But um, you have to find a way to make it work with your team. And you have about to give you one idea um, that if you're not able to contribute or it's not clear that you have to ask. But the, we can't always keep changing groups, but we can help to try and make the work a little bit more clear. So one of the things that's important is that there's a schedule with clear responsibilities. Um, who has to get what done by when? And if you can get to that level of clarity, then it should be very clear who is contributing and who is not contributing. And that's the theory. In practice, it won't always work so well, but each of you, uh, we've now extended the deadline, take this as a additional way, uh, additional skill for you to pick up. How do you work in a team? How do you collaborate? And how do you deal with, inevitably, not everyone will work in the same way. But just to emphasize, it's important that each of you uh, gets through this. 10 people is a large group. 
but uh, we have no doubt that it is workable and it is doable. So if there are frustrations or if some groups are not working well, reach out uh, to the team, to the training team to ask for support, ask for some support, we can provide some mediation. But uh, every team needs to make it through and there's no reason why a team can't make it through given the support provided. And given that actually everyone who's here in this training is capable. So I'll stop there. Thank you so much, Yaba Bell and Agun, for jumping in. Um, that was timely advice. And um, this is going out for everyone. So if you feel like there's something going on with the group dynamics, just feel free to reach out to me or to Cindy. And definitely we'll try to mediate and see how best we can, you know, help you guys out. Um, anyone else who wants to go? Okay, um, same. Can you select someone? I pick Jakinda. Thank you. Jakinda, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Yachi. How are you? I'm great. So, uh, how are you? How's everything on your end? Uh, I can say that uh, the, 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 the going, I'm, I'm learning, and uh, it's a process. Uh, the only thing that I, I would request is uh, if anyone has like uh, documentation or uh, proper documents to help with the tasks, kindly share them on the resources. Uh, for teamwork, we are getting the dynamics of the team. As uh, Yababella said, it's not easy working in the team because uh, people have different expectations and different uh, experiences. I'm not that experienced personally. So I believe working with the team, it's helping me because uh, I can get to call and understand uh, and get some explanation. Also, I reached out to some people from other teams who are doing like the same task. And uh, I really got some help, uh, mostly Thank you to Elias. Elias really came through to me when uh, I was in a major blocker. So currently we are finishing on the pre-processing parts and uh, we want to meet and put our work uh, in alignment because uh, there was uh, a lot of pushing and pulling and overriding and all that. So we want to like put our ducks in a row so that we have a, a proper flow of events, then maybe you can proceed from there. But uh, I really emphasize on the resources because I feel like I'm a little bit lost on uh, the proper understanding of the of the tasks. Because uh, as Papa always says that uh, just copy pasting code is not what we're here for, we're here to learn. So I'll really like some assistance in that area. Yeah. Also, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Malet and Abu Bakr, they, they helped when I had my problems. So, yeah. So, I would like to pass it to uh, maybe Rachel, Rachel Uase, if that's okay. Thank you so much, Jakinda. And um, Rachel, before you come on, Jakinda, you just made um, a good point that I think we should all try to do. He reached out to other people outside of his team. So if you feel like you're stuck, this is a community. Don't just focus on just the group that you've been placed in. You can reach out to others, you know, because we are all trying to get to the same destination. So feel free to reach out to others in different teams and see if they could, you know, help you with something. If they have some documentation or anything, they could help you. So just feel free, okay? So thank you so much, Jakinda. Um, Rachel, good morning. Are you here? Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, everyone? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, have you had breakfast? Yeah, I, I, I had. I, I, I have taken milk. Oh, milk, no coffee. Okay, okay. So yeah. you don't like coffee? No, I don't. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, how are you doing with your technical assignments? How is everything going? Do you have any blocker? Um, did you get any insights? What are you going to work on today? Okay. Uh, for this week, uh, uh, for this week, we are. Uh, I'm trying to work on the technical, but. Uh, uh, I have to focus also on the non-technical assignments uh, so that I can meet the deadline before Friday. Hello, Rachel. Sorry, my network was lost. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Now? Yes. Um, Rachel, have you checked the Google Classroom? You currently do not have any non-technical assignment. Yeah, there is a technical assignment that I had. Uh, last week I was sick, so it was very hard for me to complete all the tasks I had. But I'm trying okay. to catch catch up and stretch some bit before this day ends so that's what i can say okay okay we're so sorry to hear about that we hope you feel better soon okay yeah i'm, I'm feeling better now okay okay that's it so we have time for just one more person so do us the honor select the very last person for this morning to stand up Okay, uh, I want to know how Hafton Tickleween is doing. Hafton, Hafton, yes. Hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. So, breakfast? Yeah, <laughs> I had coffee. I don't like coffee. No. <laughs> See? Yeah, I love. Oh, okay. I okay, so what's up on your end? Uh, uh yesterday I felt uh, ashamed that uh, I am not contributing to my team uh, because uh, I couldn't go with the pace they are going and uh, I spend most of my time uh on reading about the how to figure out the technical assignment and uh, reading the links uh, that our group shared on the uh, rocky chat group that uh, the suggestion yabubal and Aaron gave is very important and uh, i'm gonna to work better on the coming tasks Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So, um, any insights that you gained? Yeah, I'm starting to figure out uh, how uh, how to go on with the task with the modeling part of the special governance. Okay, okay. So that's great. So thank you so much for sharing with us, Half Tom. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, so thank you everyone for this morning's stand up. Please feel free to reach out to us or the tutors concerning anything and definitely we'll try to see how best we can sort it out. Um, the group dynamics try to just be accountable to each other try to just do your own bit of the work because at the end of the day you'll be proud that you were able to contribute towards its accomplishment and um don't forget we have our usual chit chat at 12 p.m utc and the project progress update it starts i think at 2 p.m so be on the lookout for that so just check your timetable in the google site and um, yeah, so see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye. Is it is it, is it continuing? I thought, Sorry. Is is Yababel continuing?
I think I, I am, I'm continuing just, uh, yeah, sorry, thanks, uh, it was muted and I was saying. So yeah, let's, let's kind of go through 